It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. And this is Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank. Time now for another one of our interview segments, presented by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And our time right now is 12 minutes after 9 o'clock. Joining me on the phone this morning to talk about how Indiana is doing uh, with how it is dealing with COVID-19 is Tom Stutzman, Indiana County Emergency Management Agency Director. Tom, it's good to have you on the line with us this morning. Thank you, Josh. Good morning. How are things uh, going over at the uh, EMA Center? Um, it's, every day is a new adventure here. I would imagine it is, especially with the ever-changing health environment that we are currently in with COVID-19. Now, you've been giving out reports uh, every two weeks to the Indiana County Commissioners. But uh, as far as Indiana County is going with COVID-19, you did see some improvements over the last couple of weeks, as you said in your report. We, we saw an increase in the number of individuals who were being tested, yes. Um, now, the, you know, that's a positive and a negative because the, uh, <clears throat> that could mean that we're seeing more people with symptoms, which is what's driving them to go get tested. Mm-hmm. Um, the other positive is we've gone almost, well, we've gone over a month without having any additional COVID deaths. That is actually a very good statistic to, to point out there, the, the fact that people, I guess, who have been getting COVID-19 are able to get to a place where they can be treated then. Yes, definitely. And, and we, have, we have seen an up and down in the, uh, the number of people admitted to Indiana Regional Medical Center. And according to the online statistics from Pennsylvania Department of Health, we had an increase of uh, a significant amount, actually, in the last couple of weeks in the number of inpatients in the hospital. All right. Specifically so, to COVID. Okay, so specifically to that. Um, but the one downside, and I think this is the big thing that everybody's been focusing on, is the vaccination rate in Indiana County. It's still lagging behind our neighboring counties and counties of similar size. It is. Um, and we gained a half a percent last week um, in the report that the Department of Health publishes every Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, Indiana County crept up to 39.5% fully covered with vaccinations from our population. Now, that's the population of those that are 10 and older. So it, it's a little more accurate than what, what we're seeing in the comparison to the overall population. Mm-hmm. But we're still very low statewide, even in the percentage of our population that's fully vaccinated. Why do you feel, uh, do you have an opinion maybe on why our, um, po- our vaccination percentage is so low? I, I really don't have a, a personal opinion on it. I, I think it's just the, the availability at the outset was very controlled and very targeted to mm-hmm. specific um, age groups. Yeah, the, and, the phase rollout over from, time, yeah. um, even as we've made that more widely available, I don't know that the desire is there because we haven't seen a significant, you know, we're, we've not been put into that high category by CDC. Mm-hmm. We've been running in this this uh, moderate to substantial number of infections. So I don't know if there's a, a, a desire um, yet. We are starting to see uh, high levels. In fact, it's part of our news cycle this morning. Armstrong County has now been placed into that high classification for the CDC levels. But Indiana County is, as of today, still is in the moderate category. But that could change uh, at the drop of a hat. Um, yeah, and they monitor that daily at CDC. So, you know, tomorrow we could see a, a, a change in that. Now, they do it based on the previous seven-day average. Mm-hmm. So it, as you follow that, you know, yeah, it, it could change, but we have not been placed in that category. Which, which is which is still relatively good news, but that also entails a recommendation, and that's being masking. Now, we've been talking about it a lot with the recent school board meetings as well. Have you been contacted a lot by the school districts in Indiana uh, We've been in communication with the school districts, but okay. we really don't have any authority to, to determine one way or another. Um, without having a health department in Indiana County, our guidance obviously comes from the State Department of Health. Right. And as, as you've heard and reported, you know, the, the state is not making any mandates unless CDC comes out with something. So if we hear from the CDC, then it'll come down through to the State Department, then to whoever it needs to go to. I would assume that, yes, okay. based on what they've said publicly. All right. So uh, no mask mandates as of yet, just the suggestion that people wear masks inside and uh, 
people who it's are a not It's a recommendation. It's yeah, a strong a recommendation, yes. Yeah. So right now for Indiana County, though, uh, the, the big thing is to try to get the people who are vaccinated to try to get those numbers up. And as you said, the availability of the vaccine now is wide open. Yes. and Lots of walk-in places. Lots of walk-in clinics. Lots of pop-up clinics as well because we've seen – Clinics come up in uh, places like uh, the Third Thursday celebrations at IRMC Park, for example. Definitely, yes. So opportunities are abound. How can is I'm guessing people can just kind of get in contact with their uh, with their health provider and um, either their health provider, their pharmacist, or the hospital. Um, all of those locations have vaccine available. Mm-hmm, definitely, we're talking with Tom Stutzman here about the COVID nineteen situation here. In Indiana County right now, Indiana County is in the substantial category for CDC, but we have been hearing about a neighboring county, Armstrong County, uh, going into the high transmission category. Uh, Tom, have you been in contact with your colleagues in Armstrong County about uh, about this? Because we usually see like maybe one or two adjoining counties go into the high transmission rate category, then uh, then it kind of grows and grows from there. It, it does, and, and we communicate with all the counties in southwestern Pennsylvania on a weekly basis. Um, I mean, we have open lines of communications among each of the EMA and public safety offices. So we have an on, we've had an ongoing conversation since early 2020, um, and you are right. I mean, you will see that slowly progress um, a, across, you know, geographic areas, and it, unfortunately it's only a matter of time. So is there a way that Indiana County can, uh, obviously vaccinations are the main thing, but is there other, but are there other ways that people can, uh, other techniques that people can utilize that well, we could avoid going into that category? And, and our low numbers, you know, our low percentage based on the, the, uh, the, what we're seeing from Department of Health, you know, vaccinations are the key. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it, it becomes a personal responsibility issue of, you know, with no mandates in place, it, it goes back to all the things that we've learned over the last several months in, you know, the distancing and wearing a mask when you're not comfortable in an environment and, and following the CDC guidance on masking indoors. You know, those are all great recommendations to slow this this process. We've also been hearing a lot about the, the Delta variant and other variants of COVID-19. And have you been able to get reports, I guess, individualized? Are you able to see how many cases of maybe the Delta variant have been coming in? No, we have not seen any of that. Okay. Just wondering about that because uh, we, we hear about it and we hear the, the new symptoms that people, and, and you said it yourself, the test results have, the testing um, has gone up because people are experiencing some of the newer symptoms, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, Tom, is there anything else that you want to mention about uh, Indiana County concerning COVID-19 right now? Um, you know, just what I have been repeating, Josh, at the commissioner's meeting is, you know, the vaccines are available and, and we are seeing this increase. Um, our, our numbers are reflecting very closely to where we were at this time last year, which, of course, built into a significant infection rate in December. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it, it is a very slow progression in Indiana County. And if you follow the information that's out there, or, or if you look at the trend, um, we, we are not having significant issues now. However, we are seeing this increase in the number of infected persons, which means that there's probably a significant amount of people out there who are asymptomatic and are not showing any symptoms, but are walking around with the potential to spread that COVID-19 infection to others. Right. So So. it's, it's, you know, we don't have a large population base and we are relatively spread out in Indiana County being a rural community, but the potential exists that we could be trending back to what we saw last year, just before Christmas. That would, uh, Gosh, that that would almost put Indiana back a few paces then. Oh, it certainly would. And, and that's what we're seeing in other locations nationwide. Okay. So just get vaccinated. That's the main message. If not, take uh, take the CDC recommendations to heart whenever you go outside or whether you go into work or whatever you need to do. Tom, thank you very much for joining us. This is a very serious topic that we always like to get some updates on, and we thank you for providing those updates this morning here on Indiana in the Morning. My pleasure, Josh. Thank you. You have a good day, Tom. You too. Tom Stutzman. You too.